A firestorm of controversy after petitioning the state for the right to end the life of their 13-year-old brain-dead daughter. Caitlin slipped into a persistent vegetative state, confining her almost entirely to her bed and Facebook. She doesn't ring. We give her one painless injection and that's it. Her eyes may flutter a bit or she may murmur, are you for real killing me right now? But then her struggle will finally be over. So Margaret Marcella is a mother who lives outside Toronto, Canada. She's got a 23-year-old son who suffers from depression and diabetes. Also, he doesn't have a girlfriend. On that basis alone, doctors have just approved her son's assisted suicide. A doctor called Joshua Tepper signed off on it to kill the boy because he's sad and doesn't have a girlfriend. We know this because of the Substack Common Sense. You can read the details, and you should. They're shocking. This is about to become a lot more common in Canada as a way of cutting down on health care costs. By March, a new law in Canada is expected to allow children to be killed by doctors, by state doctors, without the approval of their parents. This seems like a very big change in Western civilization.